undercover plan to crack down on tagging around the city. And because the program of catching taggers and cleaning up is already working, the city is now asking for more money to continue its success. Ms. Forrest, Jacqueline Ortiz with the story. I think it's high time that the city took charge. It doesn't matter where they do it, whether they use permanent marker, shoe polish, or spray paint. It's ugly, and people on the south side don't like it. It's very bad, you know, and I just want it to stop. The city already has a plan in place, and they're seeing results. Twelve arrests were made for graffiti violations, and the new program is only eight weeks old. And Northsiders despise it. This year, the city will clean up nearly a million square feet of infrastructure in and around neighborhoods. And I am elated. I think it's a, a, a wonderful... Um, situation and I hope they get it all cleaned up. The east side has its share of tagging issues but the city plans to shorten cleanup time from 10 days to four. I feel great now that they're trying to clean their neighborhood and doing better for the community. And because the city is tired of seeing tagging like this, they're stepping up patrols and wanting taggers to know you will be caught. On the west side, Jacqueline Ortiz, News 4 WOAI. Tomorrow, City Council will vote on a budget to continue the program. If it's approved, more peace officers will be on the street, and cleanup will happen sooner in neighborhoods and businesses that are tagged.